Greetings, friends. The last time I talked to you, I, I shared a story from Matthew 25, a parable that Jesus told to the disciples about the second coming, about being prepared. Uh, it's about the 10 virgins. And basically, the, the narrative said that these 10 virgins were waiting on the bridegroom to come and five had lamps and brought extra oil. Five did not have extra oil. All they had was their lamps full of oil and they all fell asleep. And it says that the bridegroom shows up and they wake up and now they have to go. But the five without oil were found wanting because their lamps were low. And so they said to the um, other five virgins, share your oil with us. And as I read that, I was thinking about that. And I said, you know what? No one in, in the community of faith can share their faith with anybody else. You know, for, faith is a personal thing. The Holy Spirit that inhabits me cannot inhabit you unless you invite him in, unless you welcome him into your life. I can't share the Holy Spirit with anyone. I can share the gospel of Jesus Christ crucified and risen, and through faith in Christ, the Holy Spirit is poured out and inhabits the believer. As I said, no one confesses Christ as Lord without the Holy Spirit. And if you confess him as Lord, you have the Holy Spirit, you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. But I can't give you the Holy Spirit in me. You have to receive by faith the gospel message and let the Holy Spirit inhabit you, indwell you. And it's important to understand that. We cannot share our oil with anyone. We cannot share the Holy Spirit with anyone. Every person has to receive through faith Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit comes to them. So don't be found wanting like these Five virgins that didn't have the Holy Spirit, they did not have the oil in their lamp. In, the, in that last moment, they're scrambling around trying to put the pieces together, but the bridegroom comes and he shuts the door and they're pounding on the door saying, let us in, and it's too late. It's too late. He says, once the door is shut, it's shut. And he said, by the way, I don't know you. What does that mean? Well, to me, it says, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, Jesus Christ knows you. He knows you and you know him. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you don't have the presence of God in your heart to open your eyes and, and your mind and your heart to the fullness of God's love through Jesus Christ crucified and risen, you will be found wanting too. It's imperative that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior who died on the cross for your sin and rose to give you everlasting life, that the Holy Spirit can indwell you and provide you with all that you need that you will be truly prepared to meet your Lord when he comes. Look, this parable is about the end times when Jesus Christ returns. And we've been waiting for 2,000 years. Now listen, the Bible story also tells us in Matthew 25 that they fell asleep. They, they got drowsy. They were waiting. But when he came, and he will come, you need to be ready. You need to be prepared. You need to have the Holy Spirit in you. Your oil lamp needs to be going and your oil jar full. Amen? So don't be found wanting when that day comes, and, it, and one day it will come. I don't know if you're going to see the Lord in your lifetime return or not, but you will meet him either if he returns in your lifetime or when you die and go to heaven. But what's important is that you be in relationship with his Father through his death and resurrection, sealed by the Holy Spirit. Uh, in your life. I hope this is encouraging for you. I, I don't want you to be overly concerned. I want you to be in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you're in that relationship, you have no concern. You're in God's hands, and there's no better place to be than the palm of our Lord, our God. Amen? Amen. Look, reach out to me right now. Hit the comment button on Facebook. Maybe you want to send me an email. Go to paulteskyministries.com. I've got prayer buttons there. I'm answering prayers every single day from around the world. I also have a YouTube page, YouTube at Paul Teske Ministries. Go there. There's over 300 teachings available to you and, and testimonies. And again, I'm doing all of this for one reason, because I care about you, and I want you to have uh, a good relationship with God through Jesus Christ. I want you to be sealed in faith, and I want you to have the hope and the joy and, and the peace and the love that God intends for you. Amen? Amen. And all God's people said, Amen.